An overnight shooting sends an innocent four year old boy to the hospital. Good morning. I'm Jennifer Reyna and we thank you for joining us. And I'm Andy Sirota. Police tell us two groups were fighting at an apartment complex on Barbary near Ferdinand. People who live there say they are fed up and are tired of all the violence. Channel 2's Jake Reiner has been following details on this one for us. And Jake, the mayor has issued a response to the police coming from that community. That's right, and he's expected to be out here at 1 p.m. to talk to residents to try to come to some resolution about this. But I just spoke to the grandmother of the four year old, and she says that he is back in surgery in the ICU. And according to her, he's fighting for his life. Everywhere you look, with the amount of bullet holes you can see, it's a miracle only one person was hit. I want my grandson to live. He's four years old, okay? At four years old, Lorianne's grandson, Romeo, wandered out into the courtyard last night because police say there was a fight escalating between two groups of people. At one point, someone started shooting, then everyone started shooting at each other as they ran through the complex. A stray bullet found Romeo's stomach. It's not right for a four-year-old to have to go through this. Mayor Turner, do something. That's all I'm asking. Do something before another child end up shot. Mayor Sylvester Turner responding this morning on Twitter. I am aware of the comments made by the grandmother of a four-year-old child caught in the crossfire of a shooting. I am relieved the child will be okay and ask everyone to keep the family in prayer. This afternoon, I plan to visit the apartment complex where the shooting happened. Police Chief Art Acevedo also tweeting, Everyone needs to stand up and be heard, especially those who live in this complex who saw and know who the cowards are who indiscriminately discharged firearms, striking an innocent boy. When we catch those responsible, I hope they don't see the light of day. There's no excuse. With all of the bullets flying in every direction possible, this shooting has some people trying to find a way out of Sunnyside. It's scary. Even my little boy, even my mom's scared. I'm just stay down on the floor because anything can come flying through here and I was scared, but I'm ready to move. This is ridiculous. My kids can't play outside. And there are a lot of young kids here at this apartment complex, so those words ringing true for a lot of people here. Unfortunately, all of the, all of the potential suspects were able to get away, despite the fact that police say that two officers were here on an unrelated call when the shooting happened. So this is why police in the greater community do need your help in finding anyone that has any information leading to an arrest. In Sunnyside, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC Channel 2 News. And it is a story we will continue to follow throughout the day. Jake, thanks so much.